Greetings and welcome to Sim Airport. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really excited to play this early access game. I was very, very interested in it and now it's seen several bug fixes, so I'm really curious to see how we can get to playing it. So the first thing you are presented with is basically it just starts launching on a new map. But I have decided I want a bigger map for our playthrough. So let's start a new game. Uh, we'll go to map size, extra large. We There are two modes, career and sandbox. We'll go start with career mode and see what that's about. So let's start a new game. Okay, so here is our airport. We have quite a bit of land area, as you see here. One of the first things that I want to do is move the zones because these are zones, um, if you've played Prison Architect before, you will know, or RimWorld is similar, uh, you have zones for stuff. Um, but it is way, way, way far away from our terminal, so I'm going to move those things the very first thing I do. Let us just do that. Let's take them all off, and I'll talk about them as we put them back in place. So let's go back up here. Aha! So this is our main terminal. We've got a, ticket, a ticketing area already set out for us, as well as the baggage claim. Um, I want This is a sliding door here. Uh, where our people are going to come in. So I'm going to have that be the drop-offs area. This is where passengers are dropped off uh, to come into the terminal. So I'm going to put that there. And then this is the other door near the baggage claim where, guess what, people can get picked up. So let's just put those there. I think I'd like, uh, we need a garbage zone and a delivery zone as well. So I think I'd like deliveries to be over here. Uh, yeah, like maybe right there. And then garbage, I will put over here. And that's that should be just fine for each of them. Um, and then this middle area, I might put some decorative plants or something like that. Uh, so let's look at our terminal and see what we've got. Basically, we have the runway here. We've got the taxiway where the, the airplanes come down. And the airplane gate. This is where the airplane parks, and here's the little um, the walkway thing that swings toward the plane as people um, embark and disembark. Uh, I am going to build this airport to have a decent amount of throughput, so I am going to start off by building an extra ticketing counter. Let's just do that. And where is it? Ticketing counter. The cool thing is that you can. Um, you can easily search for items if you kind of know what the names are. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep this on pause for a little bit longer. And just until we get some basic things down so that our guys can start working on stuff. Uh, I do want to build a few of these ticketing kiosks. Yeah, these guys. So these are auto queue things where passengers can go and get their own boarding passes and stuff um, instead of having an employee man a desk. So let's start Let's start on uh, 1x speed. I am not going to schedule any flights until I kind of get things the way I want them. So security, we have only one bag scanner and one metal detector. I want to improve this area. This, these are three tiles required for each of this this entire setup here. So I am going to build some more foundations here. We have one here, two, and we'll need to go here. So let's build the wall out to here. And as you can see, it costs a mint. Very, very, very expensive. So uh, we're just going to have to do it. Let's move it up to three times speed um, so that we can start getting things built. Now, we have a gate agent desk, and each of these desks is assigned to the airplane gate. We can speed up our um, uh, people getting on the plane by adding another of these gates. So gate desk, gate agent desk, so we'll put one right there. Because as you'll notice, people will stand in line here and wait for it. Okay, so now we're getting all this stuff done, getting this stuff uh, happening gonna have to hire a little bit more staff once we get those gun done but do keep in mind that staff is paid hourly you will see numbers pop up here uh, as they're getting paid so we definitely want to reduce those costs as much as possible um, 
Next, I'm going to put down some chairs because I really want our people to be able to rest. And I'm going to put them slightly off. But there is a reason for this. Don't worry. I'm going to put them in a regular pattern so anyone with OCD can be reassured that they will look fine. But there is a very specific reason I'm doing this. And that is because I want to put bushes here and I want to have enough space for people to walk there. Um, but by doing this, I can have bushes on both sides and people will be happier with the environment. Okay, so now this desk, uh, we're going to assign to this gate. There we go. Perfect. So now this gate has both desks under its happiness, power, whatever you want to call it. All right, now security. Let's um, take out that wall, clear this wall here, and extend the zone for security out here, like that. And now I'm going to build a couple more. I'm going to build a metal detector and a bag scanner. There we go. Here's our metal detector. And then scanner, there we go. I'm not going to build a body scanner right yet. Because I don't think we need it. I think our airport is too small and we're not going to be a target for horrible people yet. Uh, okay, so ID check stand. We need another one of these. This basically checks people's identification and it helps people get through the line if you have more than one. Now the next thing I want to do is assign queues because right now if people were to come in, they're just going to pile up at these stations. So we're going to instead assign a queue. Oops, no, no, not that way. Shrink. Okay, this way. Is it this way? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay, good. And I'm just going to put down one for each of these. And I don't like to do the straight queues because, I don't know, these, these are, um, they hold more people, basically. Uh, all right, and this check stand will be here. Okay, and now, now that we've gotten our little squiggly mazes of uh, queues, we can assign them. So assign this one to this queue. Click this one, assign to that queue. Click this one and assign to this queue. Oh, okay, there we go. And then this stand will assign it to this queue. And this stand hasn't been built yet, but it will uh, get that way soon. All right, security. Now, now I'd like to figure out if we can have some, oh, we need a baggage claim too. All right, let's build a baggage carousel. I think we'll put that right here. Or should we put it this way? I could put it this way, actually. That might be better. Okay, that is, that's fine. So, time to get some flights going. So up here we have a few different items. We've got research here, which I think I'm going to start operations research and finance both at the same time. Why not? Here we have our balance, uh, and this is going to show us how much money we're making. Passenger satisfaction we'll see when we have actual passengers. Airline interest is what we're interested in at the moment. So we have a schedule, which is right here, which there is nothing on it because we don't have any planes yet, but we have one gate. So basically we're going to try to fill that schedule with as many planes as we think we can handle. Now I've been experimenting with my game um, off camera and it looks like we can have three morning arrivals, three afternoon arrivals and two night arrivals. Speaking of, um, that's one of the things I would like to do first thing is upgrade the runway. To have night arrivals, you need to add lights. So let us add those right here. Boom. So our guys will get to work on that soon. And we'll let them work um, while we look at airlines. So what we're really looking for is the biggest planes, at least this is what I'm looking for, biggest planes uh, in the specific slot. So here we have the different planes that, and it tells you how many passengers they carry. So we can have a 707, which has 180 or 140 is a 737. So those are the two flights available in the morning for this carrier. Let's look at this one, Pacific Airlines. This carries 19 passengers. This is not where we wanna go because if you look at our pricing, we have runway usage income and then terminal usage. How much 
you charge airlines to use your terminal per passenger. So we want to get a vast amount of people through here if possible. All right, here we've got a 777 in the morning and afternoon. Can we, ah, the thing is, requires a larger gate. So we won't be able to accept those. So I think our best bet is to go with aero time and take these two morning flights. Okay, so if we look on our schedule, they have been automatically placed for us, which is very, very nice. And we can move them around within a specific time zone. So you can see the green area. I like to space them out a little bit um, so that we can have you know enough enough time to clear the gates and, and have all that stuff happening. All right, let us see if we can get some afternoon flights. There's only one available to us. As a 737, that's pretty decent. Let's add that to our schedule. Okay, can we get the night flights? We've got a 767. Ooh, that's good. Okay, we need the uh, the runway upgraded. Come on, let's go. Turn, speed, speed, let's go. Is this done? Aha, it is now done. Now, let's go back here, look at the night flights. We've got a 707 and 767. Yeah, those are pretty good. We'll take both of these from a Ford Air. Oh, I, I didn't even look at the acceptance bonuses here. 2,800. And these are 3,400. Shoot, I should have taken that one instead. Uh, that's okay. I, I don't want to cancel it because the cancellation is going to cost quite a lot of money to do. Okay, so here are the evening flights. Weirdly enough, you cannot drag this past 11 p.m. I was thinking you could do it like here, but it seems like from midnight to 3 a.m., this is a blocked off period of time. You can't put anything there. You can't put night ones there. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, yeah. Wait, maybe we, we can only have two in the afternoon. Maybe it's only three in the morning. Three in the morning, two in the afternoon, maybe? Three, two, two? That sounds right. Okay. So, all righty. So now we're just going to wait for our first flight. Let's let that go for a bit. Uh, and in the meanwhile, let's add some needed amenities to our terminal. So I'd like to build some stuff. We need to build uh, vending machines because these are going to help our income quite significantly um, to get people fed before we can build like a cafe or something like that. So let's just get all of these things out. We also need an electronics vending machine here. Um, yeah, and these things generate money for us. Drinks machine, they I, th I forget how much it is, but they do actually generate money as you will see very shortly. Let's put some flight information monitors as well. And is there anything else? Oh yes, we do need uh, garbage bins. So we'll put those on. We'll add this one here. Oh, and I forgot an ATM. We need an ATM. There we go. Let's put one right here and then one over here. Okay, and then I would like to add some kind of to this area, I think. Um, right. How do we want to do this? I kind of want to put some benches over here. So let's do that. And then we'll figure out how much else, where, where else we're going to put stuff, I think. Okay, let's put a few benches there. Got to put our decorative bushes out here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Destroy. Destroy. Ah. Okay, whoops. I messed up my plan. Let's go this way, this way, this way, and this way. I love these little bushes with flowers. Ah, yes, and see. Oh my gosh, everybody's going to one queue. <laughs> so the game is still in alpha, or is still in, what is it? Early access is what they call it. I don't know. I don't know if it's alpha or beta or whatever, but there are some slight bugs to be worked out. <laughs> like, why are all these people in one queue when they could be going to the auto kiosks, etc.? Eh, yeah. All right, cancel this one. Um, let's go ahead and put our bush back here and get our benches out. There we are. And I'd like to add, we need our ATM. I'm gonna have like a little mm, area with food and stuff over here. Let's get a drink machine. 
We're gonna get the electronics machine is fine here too. Food vending. There we go. And then we'll put a couple of garbage bins as well. On the edges. Okay. And do we need anything else? I think we're okay. Um, oh yeah, we could use some uh, garbage bins in the bathrooms. Okay. All right, good. So now we have a lot of our people. Basically, they go from the ticketing desk and then they go to security. Um, yeah, so they're, you know, they wait in line at the ID check stand, they get processed, uh, and then they go to security. But we don't have enough people, actually. We need, <laughs> I don't know how they're doing this, but we need one person for the metal detector and one person for the bag scanner. And then here we're going to need two staff agents working here. Whoops. Come on. There. There. Okay, good. Good. Yes. <gasps> and our first plane has arrived. There it comes. Oh, look at that. It has a nice little light at night. There we go. Our plane is arriving. Aerotime 3221, Boeing 707. And it looks like there are 35 people of the 94 booked standing in line. So that's where they are. They are huddled up by these gate agent desks. Um, so when this, here we go, the, the gate is connecting the little pathway thing. And soon people shall arrive. There they come. They come right through the glass doors because they're really good at that sort of thing. <laughs> and basically they're just disembarking from the plane. So we can turn it on a little bit faster, watch the people get off. Now right now they're going back through the security area, but we're going to build a special structure for them to go back in just a second. Um, yeah, they're doing really well. So let's watch them get on the plane. So starts in 34 minutes. Let's speed up time so it goes a little bit faster. So when it says starts, that's when the boarding starts. So the, the, um, the luggage uh, cart just went. And as you see, they all check in at the desk uh, before getting on the plane. So the idea is, is hopefully they can all uh, get on the plane. I don't know why they didn't go to the second desk. Why aren't you there? Um, so hopefully, eight minutes left. Some, I don't know if they'll get, yeah. Come on guys, go, 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 go. So. Five on route, zero minutes left. Let's go, 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 get on, get on, get on. Hurry up, guys. And this is money in our pocket. Each person that boards this plane is generating money for us. Wow. Okay, here we go. There goes the, the plane. Oh my gosh, there's the other one just landing. Nice. Boom, there it goes. I wonder if I should get a third little desk as well because it seems like they were congregating all around one and not that money around another that was not good all right <sighs> to this end okay let's look at our research again that is going that is next going all right i want to make an exit area because this annoys me that they go back through security i think it's kind of silly so i'm gonna build a foundation here uh, basically just a one tile wide walkway where they can get through. So if I build, hold on, let me build a wall here. I think, yeah, they can have one square to get through there. That'll be fine. And we'll build a wall there and this will be our pathway. We'll just take that out. So let's build the foundation here. Okay. And then here like that. Yep. Perfect. That's what we want. We'll get our constructors to make that. I think I'll add maybe a couple more chairs or should I just add another gate agent desk? I feel like, I feel like I might, I might do with another of those gate agent desks. Or could I, I guess I could do a bench though. Ah, heck, I'll just do it this way. If I need another gate agent, I'll just demolish something and put another gate agent. I could even put one like right here behind the uh, the info walls. Ah yes, and that's the other thing I wanted to do over here is add some information things. So let's add those info things. 
flight info displays. We'll put one over here as well. So one of the things that you can do to, to, to gauge your people's happiness, you can look at the passenger satisfaction and you can see how their stats are being filled. Uh, you can also look at specific people and say, aha, wait, wait, wait let me pause. Uh, they have rest 0.757 and basically you want to keep those numbers as low as possible. So um, should we follow this passenger? Yeah, here we go. So as he's walking around, his rest is getting higher and higher. Let's look at his... Oh, he's going to sit. So hopefully that's going to go down to zero. See how it's decreasing very rapidly? That's where you want people to be. Um, so now he's up and about and doing other things. And he's going to get... Oh, I guess he's going to wait for the plane. Okay, cool. Well, we'll let him go about his business. Aha! Now this thing has been finished. Alright, so what we want to do is clear this area like this. And we're going to build security gates, security exits right here, three um, and four, uh, we'll, we'll leave that for, for a minute. And zones, we're going to clear this, these squares out of the security zone. Okay. Oh, here we can build our security thing. Oops. There we go. Let's hurry them up a little bit. Okay, still people are going through our security zone because we haven't opened this up yet, but we will, we'll get it very soon. Oh, and here's the guy with the luggage. Okay, so he just drives through the entire airport. Oh, she actually looks like by the hairstyle. Drives through the entire airport to go and drop this stuff off for the passengers. Just put this on two times speed so you can see it happen. <laughs> and just chucks the stuff all over the ground. <laughs> Which I think is highly amusing. Anyway. So let's build ourselves. We need another of these security gates. Exit right there. And I don't think it matters which way you put these. Because it has the red signs on both if you rotate it around. So that's I'm just going to go with that. Call it good. And then we'll have our thing. Oh, and there's the guy taking the bags to the plane. Or, the, oh, it's actually a gal <laughs> taking the bags to the plane. Okay, so hopefully now when the next plane arrives, it should put people off um, and get, get, get them to go through this security exit right there. Uh, I want to make my security flooring a little bit different. I kind of like to have like some carpet here. So our security people can feel kind of cool. So let's just do that real quick. All right, this is good. And let's see our status of our planes. All right, we've got departed, departed, departing, and en route is the next one. So what have we got on our schedule? Looks like, uh, okay. Midnight, so these are the morning ones. We can have one more morning flight. Wow, and looks so hot. And one more afternoon flight. Let's see if we have any offered to us. So morning, can't have any of these. All right, fine. What about these? Oh, this is this 19 passengers. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. All right, well, we're going to have to build up some reputation. Obviously, it's like our first day on the jobs. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's still early days. But what we can do is, ah, yes, yes, I was going to show you the overlay, the reports for secure areas is the first one. And you can see everything that's secure in the airport that goes like, people past security. Then we have the environmental heat map. Now, red is actually good. So you can see why I put plants on both sides of these uh, benches. So it makes kind of the whole area nice. I might choose to put some plants around here as well, like uh, maybe next to these info displays and then here as well, but I could definitely use some more prettying over here, maybe between the inf or the ticketing kiosks. Um, and then info heat map. So these are where our information displays are so that people can find what they're looking for. It looks like this is overkill. I could even spread these things out a little bit or put one over there. Yeah, we should probably 
maybe spread them out a little bit more and be a little less OCD about stuff. Okay, so I really want the next plane to come. When is it due to arrive? We've got one... Where are we at? We're at 1650s. We've got one uh, coming at 18. Okay, and here we have, you can see our staff wages versus the vending machine income. Now, if you have a busy airport, that vending machine income will go way, way, way up. Um, as your people start to get in and they're hungry and they want to eat stuff. So let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, and here's, we can hear the, the radio call for the plane to come in. And there it is, a Ford Air 9185. Nice. Okay. So we'll put that on speed number two and go down. And I want to see if the people go through this security arrangement I've made for them. Okay, let's go see. Let's see. Come on, guys. Get off the plane. Oh, my God. It's red suitcase day. Look at this. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Are they going? Oh, my gosh. Most of them are going. Look at this. This is good. Okay, so basically, I think I need to make this hallway a little bit wider. Uh, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on it at that point. Um, all right, I think we're good for our very first episode of Sim Airport. Um, in the next one, I am wanting to do connect the baggage carousel and the ticketing desk to make automatic baggage arrivals so we don't have to have these poor people driving around in golf carts looking absolutely silly with all the bags here um, <laughs> going through the airport. So we're going to hook up that we have right here. We've got conveyor lines and baggage routing stations, and you know how well I love love conveyor belts. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.